So here you can see the radon detector. We're at 0 0.9 PCIs per liter. I'll show you the system here. Um, first thing I'm going to do though is I've borrowed a friend's meter. You're supposed to calibrate these things every few years. Um, so here's my calibration. Um, gonna reset these both and then we'll see what comes up. His, I think, is a couple years newer than mine. Uh, so I'm gonna reset these both, which I should be able to just uh, hold these buttons down. I think. Well, that sounds nice. It's real nice. I guess at some point it's going to reset, maybe. Okay. I'm going to hold that down a little longer. Oh, there's CL. I think that's what I had to wait for. I haven't done this in a long time. Okay, now that's not really going anywhere, so I'm going to release. I've already got something weird going on with mine. So now what it's supposed to do is average, I think, after three days, I think it'll give you a reading. Um, this is in the middle of my basement, so it's uh, equidistant from most of the walls. And although it's next to the couch here, no one really sits right here, so I think it'll be a good uh, comparison test. You don't want a lot of airflow around it. So let me show you the system starting from the bottom. So this up. is where it all starts. This is a passive radon abatement system. Uh, what I started out with, this is my sump pit and I've made a plywood cover with a, I put a plastic tube kind of like this type of plastic uh, with a chamfer between two pieces, sandwiched them together so it kind of pushed out with all these screws tightening down and then I went through and caulked this also. Um, Right here, you've got an upside down toilet flange. And that's where I used to attach my system to. Over there, I've got another toilet flange on the bottom side. There's some bolts there where I bolted it in. And then I've got uh, two pieces of pipe coming down and making a J. So I've got items like the drain from the uh, dehumidifier, the water softener, and then the air conditioner all drains into here. But that trap in there keeps the gas from coming out. I've got a hard to see on here, so I'm gonna zoom in. It's a rubber adapter and then actual hard PVC. So this rubber adapter kind of gives me um, I'll say it doesn't give me a hard, you know I can unscrew this and take this cover off if I have to for some reason get in there. Um, this probably would not work if you needed to do, if you needed to have a sump pump. Um, I've actually got this tiled all the way out. We live on a hill, so this is tiled all the way out gravity. There's never any water. There never has been any water in here. So this, I've also put on the outside of the hard plastic, this is the flexible uh, ducting that you can put through your house. I did that for noise abatement if for some reason in the future I, I do put an air pump in here. So the way it is they describe to do the uh, kind of the natural convection or the non-powered uh, radon, it has to continually move upward. So I've got it going straight up and I've got a few 45s in here and it kind of comes around. There it goes past some of the heating pipes. So I've got a piece of pipe and another piece of pipe. This is kind of a guard right here. And then I've got this with an air gap so I've got that kind of separating those out. Goes up, up, up. Then I get it up into the rafters and then I'll just have the um, solid pipe right there going up. And I'll head back over to the other side so you can see where that goes up. So this right here is where it gets a little bit tricky. So that's the pipe that comes up. And I've got a few more, uh, I think like a 45 or that might be a 90, sorry. And then it goes another one of those plastic adapt the rubber adapters. And then another 45 or a 30 or I don't know what angle that is, but it just continually goes up, up, up as it goes 
with even, even if it's horizontal, it's slightly going upward. So this is the basement. I will, we're directly below the master bathroom, so I'll head up there and show you how that goes through. So this is gonna be hard to see, but I, I notched out all of these shelves. Let me pull this up a little bit. So I notched out all the shelves. This is actually a hole I drilled through. This is the bottom. Um, but the shelving units are just notched out a big U shape. Again, any time where it went through, I put this um, insulated, insulated duct work on here. Um, so what it does is it comes up through the floor, similar to this here, I drilled holes, ran the solid pipe up, and then wherever I could, I put on pieces of this um, to insulate um, if you have any wind noise from the pump pumping it up. This also helps it kind of maintain uh, heat, so you've got the natural convection of you know things warming up going higher. So let me run up through um, into the attic where this comes through. All right, here's this is almost end of the line. So I have the piece that came up through the bathroom closet, which is right here. Now, if you don't have a two-story house, this will be easier. Or maybe you can sneak this through a interior wall. Um, but I used fairly large. The bigger the diameter, the better. Here I had to kind of jog it over. Um, get around this is a vent pipe for the bathroom also below here um, so I wanted to make sure I didn't mess with that um, the other nice thing is up here we already had the outlet in here this is kind of our holiday storage room it's in the attic above um, the master bedroom slash bathroom so um, using using uh, that there <laughs> that their outlet I could put a pump somewhere in the system here um, this is a four inch PVC pipe. Um, this was the really thin wall stuff. You can, you can almost hear it's really thin versus the standard PVC. And I just did that, um, cause it was cheap and it was a lot cheaper and it's a little bit lighter to work with. Um, this is just some cheap insulation I have, but I went through the roof right here. Um, drilled a hole through, uh, I'll go to the outside, kind of show you quickly the, just, it's just a plastic, uh, roof vent, um, piece. And then I put a cap on top. I won't be able to get up really to see the cap real well, but we'll try to zoom in with this uh, camera, see how that looks. All right, so this here will be the official end of the line. So if you can see the bottom there, there's a, uh, what do you call it? A, uh, oh, my finger is right there, <laughs> right there. There's a roof vent pipe, uh, what do you call it? Then way up on top, I've got a a uh, cap, which this is all just stuff from the local hardware store. And usually in the winter, you'll see that kind of ice over. I don't know that I have a picture anywhere. If I do, I'll try to stick it in there. Um, it's got to be a certain distance away from any windows. Um, I brought it up. It's got to be above the roof line. So that's the system. Bad news on the follow-up. I'm at point zero point six pico centi idiosa, and this other one is an error, so we're gonna have to reset. Not sure what error three is, but once it gets to CL, I think that's when it resets. So can we can let go. Hmm, I don't know what that means, but hmm, might need a hard reset. All right, let's try this one more time. Reset them both. Same time. It looks more consistent now anyway. All right, give it another shot. So two things that aren't good. One, the level is going up on my other one. It's averaging. And then I got the error again on this one. So let's try resetting them one more time. Maybe I'll swap them around. Move to location of these, um, error three, last resort, going back to the manual, error three is like electrical noise, so it might have been where I had it, or it might be that I've got two of these too close together, so maybe I'll separate them a little bit, but I want to have them in the same spot so they get roughly the same exposure, whatever you want to call it. So, two more days, see what it Difficult says. Difficult to see. 
the friend one, 1 1.6, mine 2.0, so I'll let them sit for a couple days, we'll check back when pigs fly, or tomorrow. So, so far 1.6 to 2.0, so they're not exactly the same, but they are 8 inches apart, so we'll see if it makes a difference. Another day has passed. And it averages, I think it averages three days worth. So I've got my original one, 2.0, and the one that I'm borrowing, 1.5. Another day here, maybe two. Let me see if it averages a little closer. Um, we are right next to the outside wall of the basement. So um, they say to steep, keep it away from walls because, you know, radon is in the soil. But uh, anyway, either way, the number might be a little high because it's close to the wall, but they should still read the same. So we'll see if they show up the same another day. Yep, that's the general rule around here. I'm sure this is getting real exciting for everyone. Um, they are kind of coming together. So 1.8 on the left side, 1.4 on the right side. So I'm going to let them go a couple more days. I'm sure me walking around here and moving the air around isn't helping anything, but they should still read the same. So, a couple more days here. It's uh, Wednesday. I'd like to get this uh, borrowed unit back by the weekend. So, a couple more days, and then we'll uh, see how average they are. And then, uh, all right, this is what up. I've been looking for. So, after several days, I'll have to kind of rewind the tape here. Uh, tape. Rewind the tape, but they're at 1.5 and 1.5 each, which is higher than I normally see on my meter. But, like I said before, I'm next to the wall. And this is in uh, the basement, and I've got a uh, uh, section here where it goes, you know, it's got an opening into the, the concrete, and the pipe goes through the floor, so there might be some leaking there. Anyway, um, may have to caulk that. But, uh, so yeah, 1.5, 1.5. I'm going to give it one more day just to see that they stay at 1.5, or maybe they'll, I don't know, go a different direction. But we'll see. So anyway, this, to me, is, uh, this is my uh, that dumb schmuck calibration of your radon detection system assuming you have a friend i i have that one so all right this is how it works all right final final thing here oh i thought it would be final it's going down interesting so my original one 1 1.5 the borrowed for calibration purposes 1.4 so I was hoping I have two days in a row here that they'd be the same and I could say, hey, calibrated, but um, I guess maybe I'll let them go over the weekend here yet. So um, anyway, no, no, we're not going to go. We're going to wrap it up. I'm not that concerned about my family's health. So uh, get we're just going to and assume that we're close enough after roughly a week. So that's uh, Dumb Schmuck Calibration Procedure 152. Have a good one. Just ran into my typical morning dumb schmuck traffic jam combine thought with the uh, the weather they wouldn't be out in the boat but traffic jam surprise surprise another weekend has come and gone and uh, still haven't put this video together but the radon level continues to drop as it averages more and more so I think the less movement we have around here, the lower this will go. Anyway, 